Hey everyone, welcome back to Sat Pulse. I'm Patrick Akeem, and I am just really happy you guys are back. There's so much that I want to walk through today. Of course, you guys know that we are going to be at the Silver Symposium coming up on September 29th to October 1st. So please make sure to get in that event. Sign up. Space is limited, and we are running out of spaces for hotels. So uh, if you are planning to come, this is a heads up. Please make sure to get your hotel links uh, as that's going to happen. And just want to give you guys that quick heads up before we get into the news today. Today. Um, what I do want to let you know is today on the markets, it's pretty fun. If you guys noticed yesterday, we were talking a lot about this Fed meeting that's going to be happening tomorrow, where we're expecting a 25 basis point hike. And if that happens, that's already priced in. Uh, the question that a lot of us are wondering is what happens after that? What's coming after the meeting tomorrow? Is it going to sound hawkish? Is it going to sound dovish? But today, as you can see, markets are doing okay. And I'll explain why. We're seeing the markets here doing well, but take a look at this, right? When we talk about the Dixie here, especially when it comes to prices of Bitcoin, it's a huge indicator as to what prices are doing. So right now, in the last couple of days, if you just look over the last week here, we've seen quite a significant run up, especially when you talk from going from under the, under the hundreds into 101, like we said yesterday, I was expecting about 101.5. That sends the price of Bitcoin down, right? Why? The question is why. So let's take a look at that. What's going on with Bitcoin? Bitcoin is now still hovering at 29,000, dipped under 29,000 yesterday. And again, when the dollar is strong, it takes less dollars to buy that same amount of Bitcoin, that same amount of gold. This is the whole reason that, that we hold Bitcoin, that we hold gold, because we understand as the fiscal policy and the monetary policy continues, we're going to see the devaluation of the dollar, which means the purchasing power goes away from the dollar and into harder assets that we hold like Bitcoin, like gold, like silver. So one of the things I want to talk about today is keep an eye on this. You do not want to miss this. this is good news but we don't want to get caught up in the fud this is not uh, something saying go out and buy but litecoin happening is coming so in just a little over a week litecoin is going to be going through it's happening here where the supply gets reduced from 12 and a half bitcoin or 12 and a half litecoin i'm sorry per block reward and it goes down to 6.25 Litecoin per block reward. So this is a difference in the supply, the economics of cryptocurrency. When we talk about the supply of Litecoin, this is one of the benefits of cryptocurrency. There's a supply that is written into the code. You will only have 84 million Litecoin ever going to exist on the ecosystem. This is very similar properties to Bitcoin. So a lot of people are watching what's happening with Litecoin as it's going through its happening here this next week. And of course, Bitcoin is going to be going through its happening later on in 2024. So uh, one of the things that's really crazy to think about is when we understand the principle of Bitcoin, I'm going to explain to you something that has been happening here that it's, it's really just kind of odd, right? Imagine yourself in a world where there's a beautiful AI system that knows that you are you and only you based on biometric and retinal scans that you're going to do with your eye. Now, this is not a joke, guys. This is really happening. Sam Altman, right? It's not Sam Bankman Freed. It sounds really close. But Sam Altman has been talking about this, and he's got this coin called WorldCoin. WorldCoin has been just a crazy hit right now. People are signing up for it. And I'm not going to joke around. This is literally the orb that they're asking you to retinal scan your eyeballs into so that it can know who you are and authenticate you on the blockchain as the verified and true user. And what are they doing here? They're airdropping this stuff to you guys. Now, I want you guys to listen to this video. It's actually rather funny. Listen. A few amount of people holding it. So even though it's very valuable, it can't be used every day because, well, quite frankly, it's just in the hands of a very few rich people. I'm going to stop right there and break that down. Bitcoin can't be used because it's in the hands of a few people. That is not the case whatsoever. It's not that there's only 21 million Bitcoin. Each Bitcoin is divisible into 100 million Satoshis. So the idea is as Bitcoin grows in value as a store of wealth, you will no longer need an ounce of gold. You will need an ounce of silver. And after that, it won't be an ounce of silver. It'll be a gram. But Bitcoin is more divisible than any other store of value we've ever had and has been held in more wallets. Millions, millions of people are holding Bitcoin. Let's continue. ...person in the world. So that way we can actually use it 
and get the benefits together. Number four. So WorldCoin is awesome because then they're going to give it to everybody for free as long as you give them all your biometric information. Sounds about right, guys, right? We're going to scan everything. And it's not a pyramid scheme. The only way you can get this does, if, if, if you're one of the guys who has an orb, you get rewarded with WorldCoin and you get to scan people and they get rewarded with WorldCoin. And, and then everyone gets their orbs out there and we're all scanning our eyeballs and we've all got WorldCoin. It's just going to be so valuable. We're all going to need it. And the opportunity to tell them why WorldCoin can be even better than Bitcoin. And the reason for that is as follows. So, guys, the narrative here that they're trying to sell you is WorldCoin is going to be better than Bitcoin because the tokenomics, there's more tokens. They control the tokenomics. This is something we should all be very concerned about, guys. This is not a simple, hey, let's just band-aid over this topic as a bunch of nutsos aren't going to win. This is becoming highly adopted, right? They talk about it in the article here. We just saw it. Like People are lining up despite privacy concerns. It's insane, and it's really happening. This is really happening. They want to take your information and put it on the blockchain, and we can trust them. It's just AI. But let's keep going, because one of the things I want to talk about is he makes this assertion that Bitcoin is not widely utilized, that there's not a lot of value. But this is one of the things I want to talk about here is current whales. If you look at the actual supply distributions for whales, that, that's like wallets that have more than a thousand Bitcoin. They have continued to load up. Even as the price of Bitcoin here you're seeing is pumping, it doesn't matter. Whales are still continuing to hold more Bitcoin. You continue to find more whales stacking more Bitcoin at over a thousand, at over a hundred Bitcoin, at over one Bitcoin. Their number of wallets are growing exponentially. So I don't understand this narrative where he's coming from at all. Because in every position that we look at, in every metric, even on a 30-day exchanges, they are dropping the amount of Bitcoin on the exchanges. It is disappearing. If you are making the assumption that you are going to be able to buy Bitcoin here in the future, I hope that you really reconsider that. Because I think if you are able to get your hands on some Bitcoin in the next five to 10 years, it's going to come at a premium. So with that said today, guys, I'm going to move on to the last point here. So for you guys that know my friend Jeff, he is known as the Litecoin leader, but uh, he's going on here and letting you everyone know this should be getting a lot more attention than it is. Now, what is this? This is a CBDC that was released in Brazil, right? The same kind of protocols that are being released here stateside known as CBDCs at FedNow. And we're seeing implementation of central bank digital currencies in many areas across the globe. So one of the things that came out in the code of Brazil's CBDC is they have this ability to freeze your transactions and they have the ability to adjust balances. So one day you can wake up and realize that you did send the guy your, your money and you receive the goods. And next day he's knocking at your door saying the transaction didn't come through. And you look at your balance and you realize all your balance is gone. What the heck is going on here? A country able to manipulate the currency that's actually sitting in your account that they could take the value out? Doesn't sound like something I'm going to be signing up for, guys. And I hope that you guys aren't duped by this, because as we see, the narrative is continuing that this is like Bitcoin. And you guys have heard this before. If you're in the precious metal space, this is better than gold, a better hedge of inflation than gold. It, everything is compared to gold. But now they're trying to compare everything to the Bitcoin standard, which is why we exist here at SatPulse. We believe that Bitcoin is the new standard. So again, if you're liking this content, please like, share, subscribe, get the word out. I could use your help too, because the reality is if we don't get this message out there, People are going to be scanning the retinas out there thinking that they're making money for free. And all it does is, as Joe Brown says, handouts lead to handcuffs. So until next time, keep stacking, guys.